Hello guys, we still have some benefits of normalization and we need to talk about them in details. And the main reason of that, so we can use the benefit with a real practice. Again, I have here, as you see, my table. And the next benefit of normalization is what we call it dependencies. So what are those dependencies? It is, of course, in addition to ensuring uniqueness, another goal, the dependencies is for non-key values in table. And non-key values in table is all these values in green. We have them, they are non-key values. Those non-key values are depend on the key to be identified. Like I know now, those values being linked to the student ID, and from student ID, I can access to all the non-key value, which we call them the dependencies values. The reason of the dependencies and what is the real benefit of it, by having such technique, you can create a transaction table because in transaction table now, you just need to mention the main key value and the key value will take you to non-key values. So by this, you have uniqueness, you have integration of data, and finally, uh, it will be flexible to create any transaction table as you want, just because we have this benefit of non-key values. In the example of the slide, here we have maybe a security number, and with the security number, it is a candidate key. You can use it as a special key if you want, and all these values now depends on security number to be identified. Later, if you want to create any new transaction table, you just need to mention this SSN, in that transaction table and the SSN is going to take you to all the tiles you want for the specific employee. Now, in addition to functional dependencies, when all the values on the table depends on the main key, you have a transitive dependency. And in transitive dependency, let us take a look to this table. In this table, the salary is not depend on the SSN. The salary depend on the job title. So I cannot specify the relationship as SSN to salary. The relationship is supposed to be SSN, job title, and job title to salary. And this is what we have it in here. Because the salary here is not depending directly on SSN. It depends on job title. When job title is going to be changed, usually the salary is supposed also to be changed. So this is what we call it a transitive dependency. And when you have such technique, maybe later you need to create a table. In that table, you need to specify job title and in the second column to specify the salary for each one of these job titles. In complex a project is very important to define this a transitive dependency to be able to build and customize, finally normalize a correct database because if we made any simple mistake through the design process, then that mistake might lead us even to error in code and in the logic process, data flow, etc. And we need to re-estimate and redo the project from the beginning. And that might even cost us more money and more time, definitely. Now, another type of dependency is multi-value dependency. This one, simply think about it like the last column, like here in this case, the salary, which depend on the job title, it might has more than one value. How is that? Now, forget about this example, SSN, job title, salary, and let us see this example. Here in this example, what I will assume, I will assume for course one, now this is we consider it as a special key, I have trainer one, and for this course, we have book one, and also for the same course one, trainer one need in the second term to teach book two. So as you see for now, the relationship, it become between course one and trainer one and trainer one used to teach book one and also book two. So for the trainer one now, the value would depend on the name of the trainer. It has more than one value. It has book one and book two. Not like the example we have it in here in transitive when the salary depend on a specific job title and it is one value for one value. Here we have many value depends on one value. This is what we call it multi-valued. Now you might ask, is that important really to understand? In a bigger project, yes, this is important because here when you define these kind of relations, these kind of dependencies, you will know exactly what kind of code need to be developed. And if you are already the developer and you target all of these together, then you can run and write your smooth code. Otherwise, again, expect some problems later when you'll try to follow uh, the data. Once you try to feed it to your design, you might start to feel like you have some problems. And when the project is bigger, it might not that easy way to simulate the data here as we did in this simple database. So that's why it's important from the beginning to make sure to identify everything in your design. And according to that, you can create your tables, then transitive tables, then you try to feed data, and then you will try different kind of queries to see if you will be able to retrieve back any type of information you are looking for. And after that, you will start to develop your code. That's why, again, it is very important to understand these tiny details.
By this we are done now with the dependencies. In the next video we need to cover in more details normalization for one last time. Because normalization is your main key for any database. Without good normalization from the beginning, you won't be able to get a good system. Thanks for watching.